Okay. Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session version for this morning. Topic for this morning: giving to parents, family, and kinsmen. Topic one more time: giving to parents, family, and kinsmen. On that series, how to ask the showers of grace. Post my humble self, look at Kephas, text taken book of Genesis chapter 27, from verse 18 to 29. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we come say thank you for an opportunity to be alive this morning. We come to hear your word. Father, we ask speak to us and grant us understanding. Said in Second Peter 1 3, according as your divine power, you've given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of your word. We we'll come to see the knowledge of your word this morning, open our understanding, and grant us grace to become doers of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Topic one more time giving to parents, family, and kinsmen. Giving to parents, families, and kinsmen on that series, How to Ask the Shards of Grace. Post Muhammad Sahib, Luke and Kephas, text taken from the book of Genesis chapter 27, from verse 18 to 29. I read from verse 18. And he came unto his father, verse 25, and he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. Verse 27, and he came near, and kissed him, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is at the smell of a field, which the Lord had blessed. Verse 28, Therefore God, give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Verse 29, let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren and let their mother's sons bow down to thee. Cause be everyone that causes thee and blessed be he that blessed thee. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. For the reading, Ephesians chapter 6, 1 and 3 said, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Verse 2 said, Honor, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee. Verse 3, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Topic one more time, giving to parents, families, and king's men. On that issue is how to assess showers of grace, host Muhammad Sahib, Look at Kephas, text taken from the book of Genesis 27, 18 to 20. Now we've read our further reading, Ephesians chapter 6, from verse 1 to 3. Please, I want to beg you at the leisure time, read the scriptures again. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is giving treasures to parents is the gateway to walking in unlimited abundance without sweat. I'll say that again, giving treasures to parents. Is the gateway to walking in unlimited abundance without sweat. Think about this. Today we look at a topic given to parents, families, and kinsmen on a teaching series on how to access showers of grace. First, by introduction, let's understand that just like we have different routes leading to the marketplace, similarly, there are different ways and access to divine grace. I'm talking about everlasting success. No true success story that is comic in nature. All real success stories carries lines of some definite hard work, sacrifices, and sweating too much. Among the different success buttons in life, the button of giving to parents, families, and kinsmen is the most effective and the most gracious of all success buttons. Remember the man Jacob? He transcends to a mighty nation called Israel today by the mystery of giving to his father. I pray as you and I invite this mystery of giving to our parents, given to our family members, given to our kinsmen, the Lord will make a name, a generational name out of you in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 4 from verse 1 to 4, And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord, verse 2. And she again bare a brother, Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground, verse 3 said. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. So they learn how to give their parent to give to the Lord. Verse 4 said, And Abel, he also brought out the firstlings of his flock and of the fat therefore. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. So your parent look up to you for that giving. The Lord had respect unto the offering of Abel. So God, the father of Abel, recognizes that Abel needed to bring uh, a gift for him and he brought, and the Lord accepted it. So the Lord your creator look forward for you bringing to him exodus uh, chapter 2 from verse 16 down to 21 you can read the account of uh, moses how he gave service unto the prince of the Midian, talking about jethro and we saw a wife being given to him talking about zipporah i pray as you give to your kinsmen as you give to 
uh, your parents, to your family members, the Lord will enthrone you in Jesus' name. Um, um, talking about Moses and Jethro, you can read that at leisure time, Exodus. Talking about Esther and Mordecai in the book of Esther, from us, chapter 1, 2 down to chapter 6, we saw how uh, Esther and Mordecai never neglected their people. They stood by them. And of course, Israel got their deliverance. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Very quickly, how do I access showers of grace? We saw three points thus far. The first point we saw through salvation and prayers. We saw another point on the second day through obedience of faith. We saw another point yesterday through the virtue of joy, praise, and thanksgiving. Please, you can reference all of these cases on this platform. I'm sure you will be blessed in Jesus' name. We're looking at subtopic today, how to access showers of grace, and we're dwelling on through giving to parents, families, and kingsmen. How do I, how do you access showers of grace? Very simple. Through what? The act of giving to parents, families, and kingsmen. This simply means that our genuine giving of resources, services, time, care, and love to our parents, families, and kinsmen opens us up to divine visitations and showers of grace on this earth. So if you want to encounter showers of grace, give to your parents. Even if they are aged, still give your time, give your energy, give your resources, give love, give care to them. Genesis chapter 27 from verse 18 to 29. And he came unto his father and said, and he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat up my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. Look at the blessings. And he kissed him, he came near, he kissed him, and he blessed him. And he said, See, the smell of my son is at the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, Go and give thee the dew of heaven. This is Isaac praying upon Jacob. He said, Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren and let their mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that curses thee and blessed be any man that bless thee. Some of us, all we need is just a parental pronouncement of blessings on our head and you will get to the top. And I pray as you will be wise enough today to start giving to your parent, giving uh, to your kinsmen, the Lord will lift you in Jesus' name. Nehemiah chapter 1 from verse 1 down to 13. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Achilia, and it came to pass in the month of you in the 20th year, as I was in Susan the palace, in verse 2, that Anani, one of my brethren, came here and said to men of Judah, and I asked concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of captivity, and concerning Jerusalem, in verse 3, and they said unto me, the remnant that are left of the captivity, they are in great province, uh, in the province are in great affliction and reproach. Said the walls of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates therefore are born with fire. And it came to pass when I heard this word in verse 4, that I sat down and I wept, and my mom sat in this, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. And we saw Nehemiah moved. He was just a copier. In the next chapter, he stood before the king and said, King, I want to go home and build the place of my father's sepulchre. Give me timber. Give me your security. Give me all that you have. Let me go and do the needful. And of course, the king granted him according to the heart of the Lord that was upon him. And Nehemiah went in chapter 6, verse 15. In 52 days, the wall was completed. Nehemiah chapter 5, from verse 14. We saw, moreover, from the time that I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah, from the 20th year even unto the 2 and the 30th year of Atitas, the king, that is 12 years, I am a bread and have not eaten the bread of the governor. Verse 15 said for the governor. But the former governors that had been before me were charging one to the people and had taken of them bread and wine beside forty shekels of silver, yea, even their servant bear rule over the people. But, but so did not I, because of the fear of God. Verse 16 said, Yea, therefore I continue in the work of this world, neither brought we any land, neither bought we any land, and all my servants were gathered thither unto the work. Moreover, in verse 17, moreover, there were at my table a hundred and fifty of the Jews and, and, and rulers. He said, Beside those that came unto us from among the hidden that are about us. Verse 18 said, Now, that which we prepared for me daily was one ox and six choice sheep, and also fowls were prepared, and all that. You can read all of that story down to verse 19. Uh, talking about Nehemiah, a man that had 
passion for his family. Though his parents were late, but he still have kinsmen, he still have family members. He came to their rescue and he became a governor in just a couple of days. I see the Lord taking you top, on top of the top. As you recognize your family members, as you help them the best you can, they won't pull you down. I hear people make comment that they when you keep giving and keep giving, you keep going down. It is a life from the pit of hell. Give and give and give and give your last and you will never see the last of what you have. God will continue to replenish it. Colossians chapter 3 verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all things for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Well pleasing unto the Lord. That phone call you make to your mother makes her happy. That phone call you make to your father makes him happy. That little gesture you give to them at the end of the month it goes a long way. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 4 said, But if any widow have children or nephews, let them learn first to show pity at home and to require it, and to require their parent, for that is good and acceptable before the Lord. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. One more time, how to access your house of grace. We're dwelling on through giving to parents, families, and kinsmen. Well, for that, this simply means that our genuine giving of resources, services, time, care, and love to our parents, families, and kinsmen opens us up to divine visitations and showers of grace on this earth. In Genesis 27, 18 to 29, you can read the account of Jacob there, Nehemiah 1, 1 down to 13, Nehemiah 5, 14, Nehemiah 6, uh, verse 15, talking about uh, Nehemiah there, Colossians 3, uh, 20, Apostle Paul, admonition you and I, and First Timothy 5, verse 4. Please read all of the scriptures. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Lastly, let's understand that without our seed of giving to our parents, families, and kinsmen, we will be limited in our accomplishment in life. In respect of what you've acquired, you could have uh, acquired more. In respect of what you've been in life, you will have been better. Anyone who wants to build a generation and name, legacy, and fosters must be committed to a lifestyle of giving to parents, families, and kinsmen. Most times, it is not the amount, but the heart and the act of consistency. That you are married is not an excuse to communicate with your parents, families, and kinsmen in giving because you will need them one day. This giving grace only comes in Christ, talking about this giving grace only comes on those that are in Christ, and as such, I charge you to accept Jesus today to be a Lord and your Savior in truth and spirit and to live right before Him. Then this giving grace without burden will come upon you, and you look upon your parents, you put a smile upon their faces. May the Lord grant you understanding in Jesus' name. In Genesis 27 18 to 29, we saw the account of, uh, of, of Jacob with his brother Esau, but we saw Jacob did that which Isaac required and Isaac pronounced blessing upon him. Said, Let nations bow to thee. There are a lot of nations that are bowing to Israel today. Jacob had a change of name by the reason of that gift he gave to his father. I pray the grace for you and I to give that one sacrifice that will turn around for your sake will be your portion in Jesus. Now, Ephesians chapter 6, 1 and 3. Say, children, obey, obey your parents of the Lord. Say, honor your father and your mother. That it may be well with you that you enjoy length of days. God grant you understanding in Jesus' name. Galatians 3, Christ will redeem us from the cause of our Lord. Be made cause for us for the to cause everyone that hanging on the tree that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. I want to pray with you if you're interested this morning. Place your hand on your chest, bow your head and repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner. I know you come to this earth for my sake to die on the told you rose from my freedom right now. Uh, I confess you, Jesus, to be my Lord and my personal Savior. Have mercy upon all my wrongdoings. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and purify me. And grant me a new heart and a new spirit to love my parents, to give to my parents, to love my families and to give to my families, to love my kids and to give to them. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We take two prayers for prayer. Father, empower me not to forget my parents, family and kinsmen, but remember them to give them accordingly in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter uh, 43. And from verse 26 down to 27, we saw how um, Joseph gave gift to his father, even then he wasn't at home. So the children of Israel did so, and Joseph gave them wagons according to their commandment of Pharaoh, and gave them provision for the way. Verse 26 said, to all of them he gave each man changes of raiment, but to Benjamin he gave 300 pieces of silver and five uh, changes of raiment. <clears throat> verse 23, and to his father... He sent after this manner ten ashes laden with the good things of Egypt, and ten she asked laden with corn and bread and meat for his father by the way. Uh, I pray. Father, join me, let's pray this prayer. Father, empower me not to forget my parents, 
families and kinsmen, but remember them and to give them accordingly. In the name of Jesus, Father, I empower me not to forget my parents, family, and kinsmen, but remember them and to give them accordingly. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's prayer. Father, teach the saints the amazing blessings and showers of grace embedded in giving to parents, families, and kinsmen. In Jesus' name, John chapter 10, verse 17. Uh, down to 18 and also 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 1 down to to 12. And John 10, 17 said, Therefore doth my father love me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. He said, No man take it from me, verse 18, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down. I have power to take it again. This commandment I have received of my father. And we saw Paul admonishing us in First Corinthians uh, chapter eleven from verse one to two said, "Be followers of me, even as I also, I am of Christ." Now I praise you, brethren. Verse two that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I have delivered unto you. So the ordinances to give to our parent have been delivered for you and I. And I pray you walk in that reality in Jesus' name. One more time, Father, teach the saints amazing blessings and showers of grace embedded in giving to parents, families, and kinsmen in the name of Jesus. This is our last prayer here also, God. Teach the saints amazing blessings and showers of grace embedded in giving to parents, families, and kinsmen in Jesus' name. We pray. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercession ministry. See you tomorrow as we continue the teaching series.